So now let's talk about sum and difference rules for derivatives. f and g, if I know that they are differentiable functions, I can take the derivative, then the derivative of f of x plus g of x would just be the sum of their derivatives, f prime plus g prime. And you have something similar for if you have a difference, f of x minus g of x, so f prime minus g prime. So this is nice because we've been looking at very simple functions, functions that have only one terms in them, but now we can expand out and let's look at two examples here. So one, let's say my function is x cubed minus 4x plus 5. What would the derivative of this function be? Well, you just work term by term. So start with x cubed and do your power rule, 3x squared. Then move on to your next term, minus 4x. If we use the power rule, it would be minus 4x to the 0, which is really just 1. And then this is a constant. The derivative of a constant is 0. So this right here would be my derivative. Let's do one more. Let's say my function f of x is going to be 3x squared minus x plus 1 over x. Now here, what I would do first, before I find the derivative, is simplify. I would break this up into individual fractions. 3x squared over x minus x over x plus 1 over x. And then if I simplify, I'll get... 3x minus 1 plus 1 over x. And let's find the derivative here using our power rule. And we work individually term by term. The derivative of 3x is 3. The derivative of negative 1, that's just a constant, it's 0. And then 1 over x, you're going to have to write it as... Um, x to the negative first and do your power rule, you'll get minus 1 over x squared. And there's my derivative. Now we're going to introduce derivatives of trig functions. We're going to start with the sine function and cosine function. So the derivative of sine is cosine, and the derivative of cosine is a negative sine. So these are two that you might want to make sure to remember because you're going to need to know them. The derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of cosine is a negative sine. So let's look at some examples. So let's look at the function y equals 2 sine x. What would the derivative of that function be? Y, I can just write this also, I can write derivative here also as y prime if I want, or yeah. And then remember our coefficient 2, it just hangs out. You don't do anything to it, too. And then you need to take the derivative of sine. And what's the derivative of sine? We said it's cosine. So our derivative here would be 2 cosine x. All right, let's look at our next example. y equals sine x over 2. Well, this 2 here, this is just a coefficient of 1 half, so 
So when I'm looking at the derivative, one half times the derivative of sine, which we said is cosine, so this would just be one half cosine x, that would be our derivative. Let's look at one final one here with these trig functions. So the third one, y equals x plus cosine x. Here I have the sum, so when you find the derivative, you're going to work term by term. The derivative of x, using the power rule, that's 1. And the derivative of cosine, which we set as a minus sine. So I'm going to change this to a minus. Right, minus, minus sine x, and there's our derivative right there. Okay, so then, now that we know sine and cosine, we're going to talk about the derivative of e to the x, our exponential function, the derivative of e to the x, is just e to the x. So that's a nice and easy derivative to remember. Let's look at some examples here with this function. So one, let's say my function is 3e e to the x, what would the derivative be? 3 times the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. What if my function is x squared plus e to the x? What would the derivative be? Let's take a second, pause the video if you want to. Tell me what you think it is. The derivative would be, use the power rule, 2x plus the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. And the third one, What is the derivative of sine x minus e to the x? What would the derivative of that be? The derivative of sine is cosine minus, and then the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So there are my derivatives.